It's 23 minutes past 11, and I finally got my Hello World program to work. <laughs> Somebody said they saw you The person you were kissing wasn't me And I would never ask you I just kept it to myself, I don't wanna know So I'm about to go eat dinner, but I've been listening to The Singularity Is Near by Ray Kurzweil about the future of artificial intelligence and human intelligence actually and how our computers and that are going to evolve over the next couple of decades and what we're going to do with that amount of computing power. Just a really interesting book about the future of the world and about the future of computers. Um, I was just doing some Geekbench scores and that on my computer now because I'm procrastinating, eating dinner, doing any more work tonight. But basically just like seeing how powerful my computer is compared to some of the supercomputers in the world and the supercomputers that are needed in the following decades in order to create artificial intelligence on the scale of human brains and far beyond. Um, and they actually almost oh no, kitty, no, kitty. They actually almost have enough processing power to create artificial brains. Ow, this is from Sharp Claws. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good book. And Ray Kurzweil's got a new book coming out at the end of this year, like an update to this, to this one I'm listening to now. So I'm keen to read that. You know me, man. Even when it's not varsity time, when it's the weekend, we're still listening to interesting audiobooks that are like in some way applicable. Good morning. It's Tuesday? No, Wednesday. I don't even know. It's the 7th of April. It's a Wednesday, apparently. Um, I've just been working on some work this morning. Like, not varsity work, but work work. I've just been writing some code. Um, it's been good. I, I had to write out some pseudocode on this whiteboard first because I just had to understand and try to work out what I was actually saying. Kyla is here too. Kyla hasn't started working today because she's been watching Netflix. What are you watching on Netflix at the moment? I'm currently watching Jimmy and Georgia and it's a real problem. No, no, speak slowly, man. The vlog needs to understand. Sorry, vlog, my apologies. What? When I get into a series, I have to finish it. Jenny and Georgia. It's a problem. Mm. I'm on episode 9 of 10. We are posted. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but yeah, besides uh, that work that I've been doing this morning, I've just been doing varsity work. The week ahead looks kind of terrifying, to be honest, um, because nothing's due today, nothing's due tomorrow, nothing's due for the next three days. But then next week, everything's due. Monday morning or Monday evening, I have an artificial intelligence practice due on genetic algorithms. On Monday, the same day on Monday, I have an electromagnetics practical. I uh, know, an electromagnetics class test. On the Wednesday, I have a computer engineering architecture practical due. On Friday, I have the computer engineering architecture practical report due. On, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> on the Friday, um, there's also an electromagnetics class <laughs> test. And you can see there's a lot of distractions around this house. Oops. And then there's something else happening next week. Something else that I have to do that I'm stressed about. Oh yeah, and then study for end week, because like two days after that is end week. Uh, and then also this weekend I'm going through to Pretoria to take Maria some of her furniture and for Todd's birthday. And so there's a lot going on that has to be done in the next two weeks and I'm a bit scared and have to carry on working at the same time. But it's all good, it's all good. I'm stuck at home all day anyway, so might as well make the most of it. Might as well just work my ass off. And yeah, I was looking at, once again, looking at my plan for the rest of this year and for next year in terms of academic varsity modules. And I'm super excited to get to second semester this semester, do that research project, do two modules, and then next year have a more chilled year, focus on my final project, because my friends have all got their final projects right now, because my friends that are doing fourth year and final year this year, they all got their projects and like some really cool stuff like jigsaw puzzling, jigsaw puzzle solving robots and um, facial recognition, iris recognition, uh, communication medium using blinking LEDs, like really cool advanced stuff and I'm excited to do that next year. I have a bit more time next year to focus on that and the YouTube channel and building stuff out for myself and maybe having a social life if we actually return to campus. Tux has said this week, or we sent out an announcement this week that all contact sessions 
uh, that were kind of going on or were maybe happening in the next few weeks have been cancelled because there was a whole lot of rare students that got infected with COVID. And it's really frustrating because it's getting to the point now where what varsity students are actually doing and how they're behaving and how the varsity is uh, like officially allowing them to behave is so different. So many varsity students are just living their lives normally now. In Some of them in a safe manner, some of them not. But then the varsity doesn't want anyone anywhere near campus. And it's this kind of a disconnect going there that's really frustrating as a student, especially when the varsity is continuously cancelling contact sessions for people that need it, like med students, where they're cancelling practicals and that, that they're not going to make up next year. That is an essential part of their degree. You're ranting. You know yeah, I know I'm ranting, but okay. I'm, I'm good at ranting. You guys I'm, are very kind I'm good at you. monologuing. This entire uh, vlog and channel is dedicated to Mitch's soliloquies. Mm -hmm. But that's enough for now. Let me get back to work. Um... Hopefully some stuff will improve in the coming months, but I'm not super hopeful. We'll see, I guess. Think about it when I hold you When looking in your eyes I can't believe I don't need to know the truth Baby, keep it to yourself I don't wanna know If you're playing me What's up, vlog? I have spent the entire day in front of the computer here working on my FPGA, on my Computer Engineering Architecture Prac. I really, really, really hate hardware. Um, I've been working with Linux, Linux, whatever you want to call it, all day trying to get my FPGA talking just with a basic Hello World program. Uh, I spent several hours this morning getting a make file. Uh, you can maybe see it here on the corner getting a stupid make file to work uh, and I still don't think it's working properly because I have the wrong compiler uh, because it's compiling for something different than this. This needs to be compiled with arm-linux-gnu-eabihf uh, the compile chain for that and it's not compiling for that and I'm just getting an error when I push it through on the um, on the simple file transfer protocol through the ethernet cable uh, so that's not working and and my friends haven't really been able to help me because a lot of them haven't started working on this section of the pack yet because they're working on other sections. Yeah, no, I really hate hardware and I'm really struggling and yeah, it's been tough and I have not been enjoying my, myself today. I'm looking forward to finishing this module and finishing my degree and working with stuff that actually has help on the internet. Like if you're doing an Angular project or you're doing some web development, that kind of stuff, there's lots of help on the internet because lots of people are working on it. When you're working with shit like this and something goes wrong, there's almost no help on the forum, no help on uh, troubleshooting websites because so few people have just used this, have used the devices that there, there's no need for forums like that or they exist and they've got the most basic questions on them. <sighs> so yeah, the learning curve is very high. This is what engineering is about, man. This is what computer engineering teaches you. I have learnt Linux today, I've learned make files today, I have learned um, a whole lot of uh, commands and that that I've never used before. I've learned about how FPGAs work, I've learned about how this integrated circuit has a FPGA side and a um, Linux side, so basically you can run C code on it and you can run Verilog or VHDL code on the other side. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I need to get out of the house. It's 23 minutes past 11, and I finally got my Hello World program to work. <laughs> no, but um, I spent the entire day today trying to get my FPGA um, working, and trying to get my... Uh, I don't know how to describe it properly. How to get my FPGA working, communicating from the computer, compiling a C program that basically runs on the um, FPGA... Not the FPGA, the... HPS side of the FPGA so that uh, you can communicate between the HPS and FPGA side. I spent the entire day messing around with make files, messing around with Linux, Vim, all the deep bowels of the Linux operating system of this FPGA because my compiler wasn't working. Only to realize that I skipped something in the installation step of the program and I didn't have the correct compiler toolchain installed and I just installed it and it worked. And I'm exhausted and I'm rage quitting. Talk to you tomorrow.
Whew. Engineering, yo. Good morning. It's 20 to 9 on Friday today. We got an extension for our AI deadline recently, our AI prac number two on genetic algorithms. So I'm happy about that because I haven't started working on it yet because I've been busy as I was all day yesterday with this uh, FPGA with my computer engineering architecture prac. I just finished the second kind of like tutorial for it, um, which is setting up the FPGA part of it and not the HPS. There's like a, I think I explained it last night, but there's a Linux system on chip part of it and there's an FPGA uh, field programmable gate array kind of side to it. There's kind of two, almost two computers basically on this uh, little chip here and they can talk to each other and this whole prac is about getting them to talk to each other. And so that's what I'm busy doing right now. You can see on the right here, it's just this demo program is running. There's a binary counter counting up here with the lights. And then if I hold down this switch, it goes faster. And there's a lot of background knowledge involved with that, with Cortis and with programming and with um, magic, I guess, if you don't know anything about programming and about um, <laughs> and about uh, computers, but yeah, it's going all right. I'm going to carry on doing this and then work on my AI pack a bit today. It's got going to be a busy day, busy weekend, but that extension for the deadline has helped me a little bit. Plus, also end week is coming soon. I better start studying for that. But yeah, and I have a whole lot of lectures to watch this weekend. And I'm taking Maria her furniture this afternoon, so that's going to be fun. And let me get back to work. Somebody said they saw you The person you were kissing wasn't me And I would never ask you I just kept it to myself I don't wanna know If you're playing me, keep it on the low Cause my heart can't take it anymore And if you're creeping, please don't let it show So I'm here cooking lunch with Cass. Oh, there's a toast sandwich <laughs> <laughs> with Cass and Maria Hi. in their new apartment. Are you guys having fun here? Oh yeah, it's always fun cooking toasted sandwiches. <laughs> On a pan. I've never seen that before. You can even watch soccer. <laughs> soccer out of the window. Not that That's pretty cool. I trust myself to just drop that right now. Sure. Comment if you want to see a med school. Uh, what? Medical student uh, apartment to our vlog. This is the best part of the apartment. Oh, being bag. <laughs> Good morning. It's Monday morning today and I'm just going to the physio for a checkup on my knee. It's been going pretty well. But last night uh, was really fun. I spent the weekend in Pretoria this weekend with Maria and Cass checking out their new apartment. And I also even went to see some of my friends last night. Uh, Todd had a bit of a birthday party on a rooftop bar. It was really nice. Um, you can see some of the footage uh, early in the vlog. But yeah, it was a good time. Got a busy week ahead actually. Got end week next week and got two pracs due this week. Well, uh, kind of at the beginning of next week. But got computer engineering architecture practical one due on Wednesday uh, with that FPGA board. It's been going okay. And then my genetic algorithms AI prac due next week Monday then all my semester tests next week so busy week ahead a little bit stressed but I'm um, keeping on top of things and I'm up early it's only like um, uh, just quarter to eight now I've been driving for the last hour so ready to start the day start the week and uh, I'll catch up with you later hey I'm sitting here in front of the computer after like an hour or two of just drafting struggling with this error here node instance error adapter underscore zero instantiates undefined entry Sock system interconnect zero adapter ensure library passes specified correctly. 
yeah, um, I'm struggling with this to get this board for one example working properly so that I can move on with a practical that's due in less than two days time. Uh, I'm about halfway through my run, it's going really well. My glasses are super fucked up, I had to super glue them the other day, so I don't think they're going to last much longer. You won't see them in too many future vlogs before they break. Uh, really just been struggling with my project today, hey. Uh, so I'm not enjoyed working on it. But I'm still committed, however, to next year when I do my final project, do some kind of hardware in addition to all the software. Because hardware projects are so much more interesting and I'd really like to build on my robotics knowledge and development as opposed to just software. Because at the moment, it's some hardware and software with this practical that I'm battling with. But I'll get it in the end. It's got to put in time and effort. Days and hours and hours of it. That's the, that's the game. It's engineering. Uh, just finished my run. Uh, 5.3 kilometers, nice slow pace. I've been running a lot recently because engineering and fitness are mutually exclusive. But I'm doing my best. There's a KG here as well. KG, how are you doing? Are you good, Doug? Are you good, Doug? Get that tail wagging for me. Is it waiting for me? Is it waiting for me? Oh, who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Come, let's go. Come, let's go. <laughs> Smile, it's actually a video. Look at your little doggy, hey? Is it not a cuddly doggy? Say hello. Can you do any tricks? Say I'm frightened. My ears are back and down. Can you do any tricks? Yes, I can sit up. Sit, Ma. Sit. 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 Nicely. Sit. 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 <laughs> Can't you sit? Can't you sit? You're slipping. Here you are. Sit. Says, yeah. Mom, please don't degrade me like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? It's uh, later in the day, it's half past five now. I've gotten a lot more working, but the last couple of things aren't working, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, it's due to, the thing is due tomorrow at like, I think half past 10 in the morning, we're doing our demo. Um, and I have like literally one task left to do. I have to get the lights from the, I have to get the FPGA controls to control the lights on the HPS computer side of the board. I'll carry on working. What's up? I uh, just demoed my EAS Prac 1 with the FPGA and the HPS, as you can see here. Uh, F for FPGA, L for Linux, or the HPS side of things. So we are basically, the Prac was just getting a couple of LED, LEDs blinking in that when you press different buttons. Um, I know it doesn't sound impressive, but it is actually impressive, and I'm really happy that we've got it done, because now I can move on to working on my AI practical. That's due on Monday, and I haven't started yet, and I also have to study for some class tests on Friday. Two class tests, electromagnetic compatibility and engineering architecture, computer engineering architecture. And there's also some tutorials to do, and then a semester test on Monday, and my AI prac and prac report. Yeah, no, there's a lot going on. I'm a little stressed. Like my friend James said earlier, the, time, the week before Eng Week is the week where an engineer is the most busy. Um, yeah, but I'm going to get back to work now. Have a break later and go to gym. And I wish I had something more interesting to say, but I don't because I'm stressed. Anyway, bye.